Grimoire of Zero, written by Kobashiri Kakaru, an invitation from the Demon Part 06. Sure enough, the vice captain was fuming as he confronted Gemma. I told you to use the witch and the beast fallen to scout. The old man roared, but if the witch left our main force, we would be destroyed if demons attacked. Gemma rebutted. Barcel anxiously watched the intense argument. It looked like they would draw their weapons at any moment while Zero sat on the back of the carriage, studying the letter, her chin resting on her hand. I, on the other hand, was standing next to Zero watching the situation. There has not been a single attack in the past seven days, the vice captain said. Weren't the demons headed north to begin with? This place is still closer to the center of the continent than the north. I highly doubt there are enough demons to attack the Knights Templar. Are you saying that just because there hasn't been any attacks that our vigilance was futile? We can't be cautious only after we have casualties. That will only result in more needless sacrifices. Sacrifice, you say? I can't believe such a word is coming from a captain who sacrificed the precious lives of knights to protect the enemies of God. I have told you many times that enlisting the protection of the witch was Commander Udright's decision. Following his orders is devoting yourself to God. Do you think having a friendly conversation with a witch and a beast fallen while sharing a meal shows devotion to God? Gemma shut her mouth, taken aback. You seem to know what I'm talking about, the old man added. My men told me that our captain has bowed down to the witch. It's as if this unit is now led by her. It's only been seven days. Let's see what the troops will look like when we get to Knox Cathedral. I heaved a sigh and so did Zero. Barcel shot us a look that said, I told you not to get close to the captain, but it was actually her who approached us. This is not good, I said. What do we do? Hmm, Zero nodded. How about I leave the troop? Our little conversation caught the attention of both Gemma and the vice captain, and they both turned to us. Barcel's jaw dropped. Please wait, he said. Gemma took a step forward. Wait, Lady Zero. Takes sixty days to reach Knox Cathedral. We've only been traveling for seven days, which means we're only about a tenth of the way there. We need you, so you've shown your true colors. Which, the vice captain uttered in a low voice meant to intimidate Zero. The last incident was probably your doing anyway. You must have realized that the need for a witch was being questioned, so you did that. Do you think that if you tell us you're leaving, the Knights Templar will beg you to stay? That's not happening, which I will not allow you to leave. We'll chain you up and throw you into a cage. Vice Captain Leland, you have no authority to detain Lady Zero, Gemma snapped. This troop was entrusted to me by Captain Udright. It is not yours to command. Shut up, you disgrace of a knight, sucking up to a witch. Like father, like daughter. It appears that Captain Udright doesn't know what kind of lowlife your father was. Her father insulted to her face. Gemma's hand reflexively went to her axe. Barcel pulled her back in time as she tried to hack the vice captain with clear intent to kill. Don't stop me, Barcel. This man insulted my father. So you're just going to cut him down here? Right now, the invitation from the demon is more important. This is utterly foolish, the vice captain spat. We don't even need to think about it. We simply ignore the invitation and press on. What about the soldiers taken as captives? Gemma barked, baring her teeth. For the Knights Templar, martyrdom is an honor. Only four people were taken prisoner. If we stop every time there are a few casualties, we'll never reach Knox Cathedral. Gemma's anger finally reached its peak. The vice captain just chose to abandon his soldiers without hesitation. Barcel stepped in between the two. But sir, the attendant said, if this is an invitation from the demon, ignoring it is too dangerous. We, the Knights Templar, know better than anyone how horrifying demons can be. According to the lady which, the reason why the demon had not attacked us until now was to send this invitation. And you believe that? No, sir. But we can't say it's complete falsehood either. We should play it safe. We need to get Knox Cathedral by any means necessary. Mm. The old man made a gesture as though he was giving it some thought. Then, with a devilish look, he turned his gaze to Gemma, who was quivering with rage behind Barcel. 
You should accept the invitation, then. If it's from a lord, it is etiquette for the captain to accept. I almost whistled despite the mood. I couldn't believe he could be so ruthless to a young girl. Veterans of the Knights Templar sure say some crazy shit. He must have killed a lot of witches before. Even Barcel's mouth twitched, his gaze wandering as if looking for a way out. Are you telling the captain to sacrifice herself? She's saying she wants to accept the invitation. She can stomach working with a witch. Accepting a demon's invitation should be easy for her. I'm not certain I could ever do that. That's absurd, sir. If we're going to accept the invitation, we should send the whole troop. Perhaps we will be treated to a sumptuous feast. Gemma tapped Barcel's shoulder to cut him off and pushed him aside. The attendant's face stiffened. You're right, Vice Captain, she said. It's only logical that I should be the one to go out there. What are you saying, Captain? I'm sorry, Barcel. But if things go well, 10,000 soldiers might be able to march on safely with only a single sacrifice. Either way, I can't abandon my comrades when they're still alive. Let's talk about that later. We can organize a rescue team or something. Anyway, there's no need for you to go. Gemma gave Barcel a small smile. You taught me that those who stand above others must always be a shield for the ones below. Besides, it was I who lost the trust of the soldiers by ignoring your advice not to get closer to the witch than necessary. I must regain that trust on my own. She was righteous to a fault. Right when I thought I should give her an applause, Zero started clapping loudly next to me. Wonderful, she exclaimed. Your determination to sacrifice your own being is commendable. That is why I decided to escort this troop. I have one question for you, Captain. As a member of the Knights Templar, do you regret showing mercy and magnanimity to a witch? You lost the trust of your soldiers because of me. No, there was no hesitation in Gemma's answer. I know how you came to be the guard of my troops. You know, the witches of Weenias showed mercy and benevolence to the church. You knew it would be an uncomfortable journey, but you came with us anyway. If I regret anything, it would be my inability to ensure that my soldiers showed you the respect you deserved. Gemma turned to the vice captain once more. Don't get me wrong, vice captain Leland. I also hated witches since I was a child, but I'm not weak. I'm willing to change, even if it means forsaking my past. How dare you talk to me like that, the vice captain hissed. Zero seemed satisfied by Gemma's answer. In that case, I must make a decision as well, she said. I shall accept this invitation. What? I cut in. W, wait a minute. You didn't say anything about doing that. That means you're bringing me with you, right? No way I'm accepting a demon's invitation. So you will let the captain go alone? She made the hard choice of trusting a witch, which will result in a painful betrayal by her comrades. I went silent, unable to say anything back. Zero waved the letter in the air and stared, down, at the dumbfounded vice captain from below. I will offer you a deal, youngster, Zero said. If I accept the demon's invitation and successfully rescue the advance party, you will accept me into your troop without question. The Knights Templar, the Sword of God, would never make a deal with a witch. Are you scared of sending me to the demon? Do you have to chain me up and lock me in a cage so you can sleep at night? Do you have nightmares that make you wet your bed? It seems like the Knight Templar's faith does not amount to much. The Vice Captain's mouth tightened, and the wrinkles between his brows deepened. He didn't seem the type to rise to the bait, but he looked conflicted. Use your empty head for a moment, Vice Captain, Zero continued. If I returned with the captive knights, their hearts will turn to me. If you do not accept us, then, how do you think the troops will be divided? What if the captain takes my side? Let us see what the troops will look like when we get to Knox Cathedral. She shot the same words that the old man uttered back at him. After a moment of silence, the Vice Captain opened his mouth gravely. I will not stop you from leaving, but either way, the captain will have to accept the invitation. We need to keep an eye on you to make sure you don't double-cross us. Do not belittle me, Vice Captain, Gemma said. I decided from the beginning that I needed to go. I am not the least bit afraid to accept a demon's invitation. 
Very admirable, the old man spat, his tone betraying what he really thought. He turned his back on us. We'll continue north with the troops as planned. If you're lucky enough to survive, come after us. I will wholeheartedly call you captain then.